is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. The other one that um, that is uh, getting, uh, I guess, a, a little traction out there right now, and most of it is, I guess, um, kind of negative, I guess, in a way. I look at it as a positive. I don't necessarily look at it as any kind of negative whatsoever. And Omar Kelly and I talked a little bit about this. Tyreek uh, Hill was you know, asked about Tua yesterday and playing with Tua. And here is how he described playing with Tua. Sean, can you please play Mr. Tyreek Hill, sir? I mean, it's nothing It's nothing weird. You know, at first I thought it was going to be something crazy, the ball going all over the place. But Tua actually has, you know, probably one of the prettiest balls I've ever caught in my life. So um, it's, it's very catchable. I don't want to continue because the more I talk, the more it sounds weird. So it, Tua is a, is a very accurate quarterback. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, and I know that in another time uh, he threw in the word cannon, and obviously it's not what we would call his arm a cannon. I get all of that. I don't really care about that part, to be honest with you. But um, it does, he does, he did kind of paint the picture that he thought it was going to be all over the place. By the way, this is the same guy that said, Pat Mahomes was trash his rookie year. Those were the words. The word was trash. Okay? And then Pat Mahomes got better for him, right? And so here's the guy that tells you, you know, I thought maybe it would be all over the place. And I don't think he meant, again, I know the negative people out there are going to say, oh, he, he thought Tua sucked. No, dude. What he means by that he thought it was going to be all over the place, they hadn't played together. So the timing was going to be off and all that kind of stuff. And I think he's actually been pleasantly surprised that Tua has adjusted quickly because Tua has anticipatory skills. We've talked about this before. You're a kid. I am too. We go to the park to play some football. It's a three-on-three. Three, it's a four-on-four. Four, it's a five-on-five. Five. Hell, there's enough guys. Six-on-six, six, let's say. So you're, you're, you're going to pick teams. Usually, the two guys that can play the best quarterback are the guys that are picking the players. That's usually what you do, right? But what's the problem usually when you have six to 12 guys trying to play football? There's only one guy, really, if you're lucky, that can pass, that can truly pass. The other guy may have a little bit of an arm, maybe a little bit of an athlete, but isn't a passer. The passer, if you notice, when you're a kid, doesn't matter if you're a kid, doesn't matter if you're an adult, doesn't matter if you're playing in the NFL, college, XFL, CFL, I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter. The guy that's a passer, right? He drops back, and he tells the kid, hey, man, just run down for you. I'll throw it to you. Never played with the kid before. This kid biked in from the next neighborhood. He was bored. Nobody was around. He goes, ah, let me go over to this park. Sometimes I see him play football. Sure enough, there's a couple guys there. He pulls up the bike. He says, hey, fellas, can I play? Yeah, man, we need a couple more guys. Come on over. Hey, what's up? You get to meet him. You shake hands, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No fist pumping in those days. Um, this happens nowadays too, by the way, I don't know, not as much because you guys don't play really unorganized football nowadays. Kids don't play a lot of unorganized sports, but back in our day when we were playing it. So this kid's never played with him. All of a sudden he's going downfield and the one kid in your group that can throw the ball, he throws it on a dime, drops it right in front of the kid to catch it. And they score a touchdown, right? That's because you have it period. And I think Tyreek Hill in that comment, when he said, oh, I thought it was going to be all over the place. I think he was thinking, I've never played with this kid. He's going to have to adjust to my speed. I'm at another level, this and that, because he's Tyreek Hill. I play with twin turbos. And all of a sudden he's throwing it all over the place and he's on target and he's leading him right and all those kind of things. And I think that's what Tyreek Hill was trying to tell you in that soundbite that, hey, man, this guy's really accurate. Like, wow, I, I, I did not know 
And to piggyback on something else we talked about with Omar, the beauty of not just running the ball and giving to a, a running game, which takes a lot of pressure off of them. Take it, the, the linebackers aren't on their toes or on their heels constantly, all those kind of things. Okay. That's going to help him obviously. Right. Well, the other thing that's going to help him is the speed that you've added to this team. So whether it's Chase or Moster coming out of the backfield, there's going to be a lot of guys are going to struggle to stay with those guys. Separation. Jalen Waddle or Tyreek Hill? Number one corner. Take your pick. Okay, he'll still get separation on you. But whoever the number two corner is, and you're covering Hill or Waddle, more separation's coming. Mike Gesicki. Yeah, you just kind of heard from Omar. He, he thought he saw Gesicki being a little quicker there, right? Well, Gesicki still is a mismatch as it is. More separation there coming. So my point is that when the young man drops back, he's going to have the defense guessing whether they're going to run or pass, which is a huge difference for him. He's going to have receivers that get separation. And hopefully the determination of Mike McDaniel and his staff that they need and must run the ball in order to run their offense. It's not just for Tua. It's for any quarterback that he's been in will also make his life easy. So there's a lot of things that if you put them together, this should start working out, if at all. Obviously, barring injury, which is, you know, the one thing that we all fear. But those are this is the big O show. This is the big O show.